Welcome to another I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Joe. Well, it was shaping up to be a good week for Joe Biden. He got Brittany Griner back. Uh, he kept marriage gay, and he's only got he's only got 14 more sleeps until Santa. <laughs> But then, just when he thought he had it all under control, Kirsten Cinema said, hold my wig. <laughs> Arizona Senator Kirsten Cinema, seen here realizing that someone is actually waving to the person behind her. Donald Trump said the results of the 2020 election should be overturned and called for the termination of the Constitution. Trump plans to terminate the Constitution by asking Herschel Walker to drive it to the clinic. <laughs> A new album from R. Kelly was removed from streaming sites several hours after being uploaded. And it was not easy to remove his streams, said the maid who cleaned his couch. You <laughs> make some good points, Michael. A new, a new report shows that New Jersey has the second worst roads in the country, while the worst roads are the ones that go into New Jersey. <laughs> The publisher of Roald Dahl's books announced that they're altering some of his insensitive language, like the words fat and ugly, as well as modernizing his portrayal of women, which will mostly affect Dahl's beloved children's classic, The Fat, Ugly Wife Who Knew Her Place. <laughs> Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg visited the site of the train derailment and was criticized for wearing leather dress boots. But give him a break. That's all he had at Baby Gap. <laughs> Wednesday was International Women's Day. I said was, next joke. A new study finds... <laughs> a new study finds that some New York City rats carry the virus that causes COVID, which is why I always order mine well done. <laughs> oh, I thought that'd make you laugh. <laughs> a man in Florida said he was surprised when he heard a knock at the door and it turned out to be an alligator. Even more surprising, it was doing the thing from Love Actually. <laughs> Officials in Berlin announced that women will now be allowed to go topless at the city's pools. But officials also said to be aware, it's not going to be the ones you want. <laughs> After Walgreens announced that they will stop selling abortion pills in 21 states, CVS has remained silent on the issue. While over at Rite Aid, you can just grab a pill from the take abortion, leave abortion <laughs> <thing."> <laughs> Tucker. <laughs> Tucker Carlson seen here laughing at a dog locked in a hot car. <laughs> Released security footage from the January 6th attacks with the violence edited out and said it proves it was a peaceful gathering, which is like editing all the sex out of a porn video and saying it's a short film about being a stepmom. Raphael Warnock defeated Herschel Walker and Georgia Senate runoff race. You know, but I don't think this is the last you'll hear from Herschel Walker. I mean, unless he's your biological father. <laughs> With Raphael Warnock's win, Democrats in the Senate will no longer have to rely on Vice President Harris for tie-breaking votes. Harris can now focus on her main priority, waiting for a worse bike accident. <laughs> Nike has officially... <laughs> Nike has officially cut ties with Brooklyn Nets star Kyrie Irving over his anti-Semitism scandal. Kyrie says he's so depressed he might jump off the edge of the world. <laughs> today, today was the SantaCon bar crawl in New York City. Yeah, the uh, annual reminder that while Santa may exist, God doesn't. <laughs> On Christmas. <laughs> The Los Angeles Zoo announced that Evelyn, a 46-year-old gorilla famous for her red hair, has been euthanized. Not because she was sick, but because it's L.A. and she was in her 40s. <laughs> in oral arguments in the case, Justice Samuel Alito raised the hypothetical, could a black department store Santa be forced to take a picture with a child dressed in a Klan robe? Alito added that he'd love an answer before he takes his grandkids to the mall next week. <laughs> The National Brotherhood of Skiers is pushing for greater representation of black people in winter sports, which are predominantly white. Huh, so it seems like someone's a little jealous that we took their precious dunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This week, both Harvey Weinstein and R. Kelly were given additional prison sentences on top of the ones they are already serving. Which brings us to Michael Che's new segment. What did they even do wrong? <laughs> They're guilty of loving too much, right? <laughs> a player's got to play. Am I right, ladies? No. <laughs> this is it. What did they even do wrong? Georgia representative and cocaine bear Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> it's 
tweeted, the country needs a national divorce, which makes sense because she is the most divorced looking woman I have ever seen. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is releasing a new memoir called The Courage to Be Free, even though The Courage to Be Free sounds like a black history book he's banned. <laughs> Donald Trump visited East Palestine, the site of the recent train derailment, because Trump usually likes to try to make himself look better by standing next to a train wreck. <laughs> the, the train that was derailed was carrying highly toxic vinyl chloride, which I think is something Trump recommended as a cure for COVID. <laughs> then, while visiting the disaster site, Trump also gave out bottles of Trump-branded water, said residents, thanks, but we'd rather drink the toxic train water. <laughs> A deep sea diver has announced plans to set a new record by living underwater for 100 days. I feel like the record is longer than that, said the people of New Orleans. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. President Biden said that he supports a bill that would allow the government to ban TikTok, but only because Biden thinks TikTok is a gang member from his old neighborhood. <laughs> President Biden proposed his budget that would help fund Medicare with a 25% tax on billionaires. Ha! Take that, Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> President Biden's proposed budget included $400 million to counter Chinese disinformation. It will target the number one source of Chinese disinformation, fortune cookies. <laughs> The Supreme Court heard a case this week over whether a conservative evangelical woman can refuse to design a website for a same-sex marriage. But, honey, I don't know any gay couple who's going to hire a designer with those highlights. <laughs> uh, honey. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I apologize. During... during okay. Chris Christie's niece was arrested on a Spirit Airlines flight to Newark after she accused a Latino family of smuggling cocaine, then injured multiple officers by biting them and kicking them in the groin. She has been sentenced to life in the New Jersey Hall of Fame. France announced that it will start providing free condoms for people between the ages of 18 and 25. Cool. Now do deodorant. <laughs> President Biden is being praised for his surprise visit to Ukraine by taking a 10-hour train ride from Poland. You know who else takes a long-ass train ride through an active war zone? Every New Yorker. <laughs> China is trying to help end the war in Ukraine and proposed a 12-part plan for peace. The catch is the 12 parts have to be assembled by children. <laughs> have debunked claims that an unwanted pregnancy can be terminated with high doses of vitamin C. Well, that's the last time I ask a woman to stay over for breakfast, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> the NBA slam dunk <laughs> was won by Mac McClung, a six-foot-two white man who has only appeared in two NBA games, which is just a terrible way to end Black History Month. <laughs> It was announced that Brittany Griner has signed with the Phoenix Mercury for one year. Unfortunately, the WNBA pays less than a Russian prison. <laughs> <laughs> a four-foot-long alligator was discovered in Brooklyn's Prospect Park, so you can probably take down all those missing dog posters. <laughs> uh, Tucker Carlson, seen here at a whites-only rave. <laughs> has been granted access to over 40,000 hours of security footage from the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Who could watch all that with going, <laughs> going insane, said psychiatrists about Tucker Carlson's show. <laughs> of the Oscars said they changed the color of the arrival carpet from red to champagne so the mood would be more mellow. But, I don't know, switching from red to champagne usually turns me into a full-on bitch. <laughs> According to a new report, by 2035, more than half of the world's population will be just how I like them. A photo, a photo has gone viral of a 98-year-old woman in Kentucky meeting her first great-great-great-grandchild. Well, I wish I had gotten to meet my great-great-great-grandmother so I could have told her, don't get on that boat! It was reported that the organizers of King Charles' coronation have officially invited Meghan Markle. And this is nice, at a starting salary of $19 an hour. <laughs> New documents from the Dominion lawsuit reveal texts from Tucker Carlson in which he says he hates Donald Trump passionately and can't wait until he's able to ignore him. That must suck to go on TV and put on a smile and make friends with some psychotic bigot just because it's good for the show. <laughs> anyway, back to you, Colin. <laughs>